Hi friends, greetings. My name is Gyan and I am a digital hardware design engineer. In this video, we are going to cover a very important digital design which is fixed priority arbiter. This design is very important from an interview point of view as well and many questions are asked frequently at fresher as well as experienced level. So let's get started. So in this video, basically we are going to cover the following. What is an arbiter or why do we need an arbiter? The applications and examples of an arbiter, advantage and disadvantage, it's very low at real design. Then we are going to synthesize the design. We are going to write its test bands and simulate the design. So first of all, let's see why do we need an arbiter? So if you see here, there is a shared resource, which is memory and four CPUs are trying to access that memory. The point here is only one CPU can access the memory at a time. So then this system diagram doesn't look like correct or the four CPUs cannot access the memory simultaneously. So let's see how we can modify this system diagram by using some additional hardware which will enable us such that all the CPUs can access this memory. So if we modify the previous system diagram by adding the additional yellow hardware which is nothing but a fixed priority arbiter. So now we can see here that all the CPUs firstly they are going to talk this arbiter and then they are going to talk to this memory. So now let's see what is the specifications or how do we define this fixed priority arbiter. So if you see here, the fixed priority arbiter will have its clock, the reset signals and here there are four TQSs. So if you see in the previous diagram, there are four CPUs which are basically requesting the arbiter to access the memory. So here we will have four requests. And then this arbiter will basically output a particular signal which is nothing but a grant to a particular requester in a form of one hot encoding. So for examples requester 3 is accessing the memory access through the fixed priority arbiter then the grant third bit will be high and all other bits will be zero. Likewise for all other requests. Now let's see what are the applications or examples of this fixed priority arbiter. So as we discussed in this video itself in starting, where the four CPUs are basically trying to access the memory. So this is one of the applications of the arbiter. Then we have one another scenario for a router switch where multiple users are competing for a switch. So these are the kind of examples where we need a arbiter. Now let's see what are the advantage and disadvantage or fixed priority arbiter. So the advantage is because the priorities are fixed or we can define the priority such that a particular requester has the highest priority. So for examples, we want a particular requester to have the highest priority. Then 
using the fixed priority arbiters, we can do that. For examples, CPU 3 has the highest priority or in other words, we can say that wherever CPU 3 is trying to access the memory, it should definitely access that. So, if we have this kind of applications, then we can incorporate the fixed priority arbiter. What are the disadvantages of the fixed priority arbiter? Since the priorities, since we are giving the priority with preference, example the request 3 or the CPU 3 has the highest priority. So if the CPU 3 is requesting the memory accesses frequently, then the other requesters or the other CPUs might not get the memory access and it will reject in, result in the starvation of request for the requesters which have lower priority. So this is the basic advantage of disadvantage of sorry uh, for the fixed priority arbiter. So there is a solution for this disadvantage as well and the solution is go for a round robin arbiter. So we will cover this round robin arbiter in our next video. Now let's see the spe specifications of the fixed priority arbiter which we are going to implement in this video. So as I said in the previous slide, the, the arbiter is going to have the four input requests and it is going to output a single grant in the form of one hot. And the priority of the requesters are request 3 has the highest priority, then request 2, then request 1 and then request 0. We are going to use EDA Playground, which is a web-based application and which basically enables HDL writing and simulating the design, which has inbuilt open source tools like Yosis and Drivaria, which can be used to synthesize and simulate the design. So we are going to use Yosis for synthesizing our design and Riveria for simulating it. So let's see, let's open the EDA playgrounds and start the design synthesis and simulation. So I have written the code and we will go through this code, we will try to understand, we will synthesize it and then we will simulate and analyze the waveforms. So if you see here, we have the four inputs, clock, reset, the four requesters and then the grant output signal. So on reset, we are saying that all the grants are going to be zero or we are saying that during the reset, none of the requesters are supposed to access the memory. Once the system is out of the reset, we are saying that the request 3 will have the highest priority. So if request 3 is asserted, we will going to grant the request to the requester 3. If request 3 is not asserted, we will go and check for the request 2. If request 2 is also not asserted, we will go for request 1, then request 0. Else, if none of the requests are asserted, we are not going to grant the access to any of the requesters. So now you can select the tools from this drop down menu. We are going to synthesize the design using the Yosi synthesis tool, and you can basically enable this show diagram after run. You can save the design and run it. So this is the synthesized diagram. 
let's analyze this diagram so we have the request input then we have the clock input and we have the reset as well so if you see our grant is the output and the grant is basically a registered output and the input of the registers are basically input of the register is basically coming from this max and the selection line of this max is nothing but request 3 the third bit of the request signal so as we know that the request 3 has the highest priority so if request 3 is high the B input of the MUX will be selected and the B input of the MUX is nothing but 4 tick B110. So the 4 tick B110 will be assigned to the grant output. That means the grant third bit of the grant signals is high and which indicates that the request 3 has granted the access. So if you see here these all maxes max 1 2 3 4 are connected in cascade with request 3 the max which has the request 3 as the selection line is nearer to the nearest to the basically nearest to the grant output so this will have the highest priority so this max sure, max sure that the request 3 has the highest priority followed by the request 2 then request 1 and then request 0 So this is the synthesized circuit diagram. Now let's simulate the design. So I have written the test, uh, test bench and we can go through the test bench and then we will simulate this design. So this is the test bench. The inputs, cloak, reset, request and grant are the inputs and output of the designs. We have instanced the duty here. Then we are generating a clock of 10 nanoseconds we are basically going to initialize the designs and then once the reset is asserted after 5 nanoseconds we are basically going to drive the DUT so we are going to drive the DUT with random requests and then at the last we are again resetting the designs and we will finish our simulation so to simulate these designs, we have to select a tool and the tool which we are going to use is Alde Riveria Pro. We will, we will select the EP wave, open EP wave after run and shave the designs and run it. So I am going to arrange the signals in a way that we can understand this waveforms or we can analyze the waveforms properly so if you see here and I, I, I am going to change the radix in binary so that we can understand it properly so once the reset is asserted deasserted here the reset is deasserted after 5 nanosecond and the request and the fourth request is asserted when the fourth request is asserted at the negative edge of this clock, the coming at the coming following edge, the grant has been given to the request 3. Now in the next following edge, the request 3 and request 1 both are asserted. So if you remember this is a fixed priority arbiter with request 3 is the highest priority. So here the request 3 is also asserted so the request 3 only will grant the access for the to access the memory so here as well the grant will be 1000 in this falling edge of the clock only the request 1 is asserted the request 0 2 and 3 all are 0 so in the coming rising edge of the clock the request one has granted the access 
in the next falling edge request 1 and 2 are asserted and the request 2 has the higher priority than the request 1 and hence the grant will be given to the request 2. In the next falling edge request 1, 2 and 3 are asserted and hence request 3 has the highest priority and it will be given a grant. Here again all requests are asserted but request 3 has the highest priority and it will get the access. Here at this falling edge of the clock request 2 has the request 2 is asserted all other requests are 0 hence request 2 will request 2 will be served here. And at this falling edge of the clock, request 1 is asserted, but the reset is asserted here. And hence, at this rising of the clock, when the reset is asserted, when the design is in the reset, the grant will be 0. No, grant, no requests will be granted when the reset is asserted. So, hope this fixed priority RBI design is very much clear to you. If you like the design or if you like the video content, please do not forget to hit the like button. Also, please do subscribe and enable the notifications to get notified for the next such design. I would appreciate your suggestions, any queries and digital designs. Any digital design you would like to understand starting from circuit to SDL designs, please write, please write down into the comment section below. Thank you very much.